okay today we are going to complete commercial cells in one shot okay commercial cells in one go we are going to complete it from the beginning to the advanced level okay so this is a very useful topic in our daily life as well as well as for the entrance point of view also okay so commercial cells means which we the electrochemistry utilization of our electrochemistry into our daily life like whatever the electronic devices we use they require some electrical energy okay by using the chemical energy and converting them into the utilization into the electronic device electrical devices that cells which we use in that purpose are called as commercial cells okay so commercial cells based upon the their utility based upon the utility they are divided into three types primary cell secondary cell and PL cell based upon their utility they are divided into how many types three types okay so if they can be used only one single use this possible okay after one use then we need not we cannot use it again and again so they are of the single use then they are called as primary cell that means they cannot be recharged and reused okay then if they can be recharged and reused then it is called as a secondary cell and if they provide continuously energy even without charging also continuous source of energy by complete combustion basically the, the reaction will be combustion reaction okay so that reaction if they are based upon such continuous source of energy without charging even they are called as fuel cells okay so as per our syllabus these are the five types okay which are examples which are given in examples and in our ncrt or in our um, nta conducting examinations okay so first one is primary cell primary cell is examples are dry cell and mercury cell dry cell and mercury cell next one is secondary cell secondary cell are nickel cadmium cell and lead acid battery fuel cells are h2o2 cell okay so these are the examples which we are going to study in this okay so in the recent trends let it be mains advanced or neat aims anything generally we are seeing only theory questions from this conceptual questions and theory questions most of them are memory based in such condition what you have to do you have to make a short notes in one page or two pages maximum you should restrict them into the two pages according to the trend generally they are asking what is anode what is cathode what is the cell potential what are the advantages what is the net reaction what is the reaction at anode reaction at cathode likewise so you can you need not to worry about the diagram side you need not to worry about the diagram side so because in the entrance examination you are not going to draw any diagram okay now first we are going to start with the very first topic that is dry cell what is the topic dry cell okay dry cell like land cell there are many name used okay this is the very basic and very old cell electrochemical cell used as of now okay so as i told you in every cell i am going to address i am going to address some main points key points as per the examination point of view i am going to cover it okay first thing they may ask is cathode first thing they may ask is cathode second one they may ask is anode okay third thing they may ask is reaction at anode okay reaction at sorry reaction at anode okay and third thing fourth thing they may ask is reaction at cathode reaction at cathode okay and fifth thing they may ask is net cell reaction okay net cell reaction and sixth thing they may ask is electrolyte what it is used electrolyte what it uses okay these are the key essential requirement let it be any cell you should be able to know so what you have to do is you should make your own handwritten notes mentioning all these points in one place okay so if you make it on your own then it will give you a good experience and memorized easily understood even though you can get a printed material in that format but that much effective it will not be there 
you can write and you can by the time you will be memorizing it also okay so next one is after electrolyte then cell potential okay in some places cell potential is also mentioned okay so try to extract this information from our theory understood so let us start with the first one dry cell okay in the dry cell the cathode and anode okay here cathode is a carbon rod okay what is the cathode carbon rod okay carbon rod means it is carbon got in many allotropic forms here the allotropic form used is graphite okay and already i mentioned graphite is a inert electrode what it is inert electrode okay and it is uh, surrounded by paste of mno2 so better i will erase this now one by one i will be explaining okay first one is cathode cathode is a carbon rod carbon rod carbon rod means specially it is graphite okay graphite speciality i think everybody know being non metal it is the only non metal which is a conductor okay it is only non metal which is a conductor okay surrounded by uh, this is surrounded by surrounded by paste of mno2 paste of mno2 okay and some powdered graphite also used powdered graphite okay this is the cathode cathode is made up of what carbon rod graphite rod basically but reactive part of this is, is mno2 okay this is only to contain the mno2 this is in a graphite is an inert electrode what is graphite graphite is a inert electrode it is not going to participate in a reaction okay then coming to the anode okay so anode is what is zinc metal okay zinc rod will act as a anode okay and uh, zinc rod being uh, anode it should undergo what just oxidation okay and third one what i told you is electrolyte electrolyte should only provide a means to carry the electrons sorry carry the ions carry the charge okay and it's for positive cl minus so this will enable us to carry the charges understood so these three things is it understood in the dry cell the main reactive part at the cathode is mno2 okay and main this is a participative electrode the difference between these two is here cathode is carbon rod with graphite but it will not participate in the reaction such types of electrodes are called as inert electrode zinc it reacts also and uh, act as electrode also participative electrode okay and the electrolyte here it is ammonium chloride and it's for cl okay because electrolyte should be able to carry the charge from an anode and cathode both half cells will be separated understood so now what we have to do reaction at cathode and reaction at anode so as everybody know at cathode during the electrochemical cell we in this cell what we are going to do we are going to convert electric uh, chemical energy into the electrical energy so in the cathode what will be the reaction taking place reduction what will be the reaction reduction and here it is oxidation and here it is oxidation okay so as i told you in the cathode side which is reactive which is participates in the reaction very good mno2 mno2 participates in the reaction so it should undergo reduction and here before the reaction oxidation number of manganese is plus 4 okay and it after reaction it converts into mn plus 3 okay for this complete reaction i will tell you mno2 and electrolyte it react with the electrolyte nh4 positive basically nh4 positive plus 4 h2o electrolyte is aqueous solution 4 h2o plus one electron no, sorry two electron okay two electron by the two moles of mno2 and it will undergo reaction to form mnoh whole thrice mnoh whole thrice plus two nh4oh okay 
here we should take two moles of NH4Cl. Is it understood? So the reaction is two MN uh, O2, two moles of MnO2. Before reaction, oxidation number is plus four, and after reaction, oxidation number is plus three. Okay. Before reaction, oxidation number is what? Plus four, and after reaction, oxidation number is plus three. From plus four to plus three, it is changing. Okay. And the electrolyte used is NH4Cl, aqueous solution of NH4Cl. Number of electron gained will be two moles of electrons. Okay, so here gaining of electrons. So at anode, what it should do? Loss of electron. If it is wants the two electron, that will be provided by the zinc. So before the reaction, what is there? Zn gives Zn two positive plus two electrons. So the two electron lost by the zinc will be carried by the cathode and reduces its MnO2 to Mn reduces its MnO2 to Mn plus 3. Okay, Mang manganese hydroxide MnOH whole thrice. Okay, so suppose net reaction we want, just add these two reactions. Okay, this is on the right side, this is on the left side. Then you will get the net reaction. Let us take zinc on the left side and two moles of MnO2 and two moles of NH4 positive and four moles of H2O. These are all reactant, okay? And product said it is only Zn2 positive. Here only Zn2 positive are there and rest all you can write it them. Rest all you can write it here. That will become the net cell reaction. So if you remember only cathode and anode reaction, that's sufficient, okay? Only thing what you have to do while adding, you should make sure that number of electrons should be canceled. Electron lost by anode at uh, anode it should be cancelled by the number of electron gained by cathode. In some reaction, there may be chance that it is losing three electrons here, but it requires two electrons only. That time we will multiply this equation with three, then we will multiply the equation with the, sorry, this will be with two, this will be with three, so that both can cancel out with electrons both will it will lose six electron it will gain six electrons six and six will get cancelled to form net reaction without any electron the net reaction should not contain any electron is it understood so this is about the dry cell okay okay this is about the dry cell and it is going to provide you 1.6 volts okay as i told you in this point what are the key points you have to note what is anode what is cathode, what is electrolyte, what is reaction at anode, what is reaction at cathode, and what is cell potential. These are the six key points you should have noted for every commercial cell. Main objectives will be direct objectives only. Okay, so maximum to maximum what they can do is, what they can do is, they can ask reaction to make an integer question number of electron lost, number of electron gained, they can ask. Okay, after this next cell we are going to start with is the mercury cell. Okay, next cell we are going to start with the mercury cell. Mercury cell is mostly found advantages, okay, because of its unique advantages. First one is it is robust in structure. What it is? robust in structure okay and it pro it is first and uh, technically speaking it is used where low current devices low current devices okay so we cannot use where in the uh, entire houses okay so low current devices like watch okay like hearing aids hearing aids they don't require much of the current okay hearing aids okay and wherever we require low current requirement is there okay then we use it as a mercury cell will be used is it understood low current devices prefers the mercury cell what is the advantage of it is it understood it will provide you very much low current but constant voltage what it will provide constant voltage okay now as this is the advantage okay so the common points we are going to start with this first one is anode okay anode is amalgamated zinc what is anode amalgamated 
amalgamated zinc is anode amalgamated means a paste of the mercury okay zinc coated with mercury itself is called as amalgamated zinc only this is used to reduce the speed of the reaction okay so it will discharge fast to avoid that rate of reaction is reduced by the coating of the mercury on the zinc metal zinc being reactive it will discharge it will start losing electron very fast and it will undergo discharge as of now we required only low current electron flow of the rate of electron will be slow okay then second one is lead cathode okay cathode is hgo okay hgo is it understood hgo with the paste okay so mercuric oxide mercuric oxide is the cathode understood now electrolyte what is the electrolyte electrolyte is koh plus zinc oxide koh and zinc oxide these are the anode and cathode anode is amalgamated zinc cathode is mercuric mercuric plus one plus two okay because it should undergo reduction understood and electrolyte is koh and zinc oxide okay what is the advantage of it it will provide you with the low current and it is robust in nature but compact in size compact in size therefore it is found use where low current requirement is there small size is required size of the cell whenever it is required there we use okay so reaction at let us take first anode okay reaction at anode what i told you anode here amalgamated zinc amalgam is only to reduce the rate of reaction the main reactant will be zinc okay so zinc will lose electron and will convert into zn and this zinc okay then it will form zn oh hole twice what it will form zn oh hole twice otherwise we can write this as a separate also zn o plus h2o ultimately here see zinc is oxidation number is zero here and after this it is plus two here that means it is losing two moles of electrons okay to maintain that charge minus minus will be provided here is it understood so this two electrons will be lost by the zinc zinc being anode it should undergo red oxidation and to reduce the speed it is made with the coating of the mercury amalgamated zinc it is not minus z and dash hg amalgamated zinc okay then reaction at cathode so cathode what reaction it should takes place it should takes place the reduction okay and what i told you at cathode what will be available hgo okay so hgo on reduction same in the presence of water it accepts these two electron okay here before the reaction what is the oxidation number plus 2 plus 2 uh, minus 2 it will be reduced to mercury okay this is one of the disadvantage what is the disadvantage it it will reduce mercury is a poison mercury is what poison that's why disposal of the mercury cell is one of the main main drawback okay the main drawback of the mercury cell is mercury is a negative catalyst wherever it is available it will reduce the rate of reaction of the metals which are associated with it okay so this is advantages are there small in size okay compact in size robust in nature provide low current being even though if there are advantages there is one disadvantage also disposal is very very difficult okay because lead uh, mercury it reduces the rate of reaction okay it is a negative catalyst and overall reaction i think you can do it this one and this one will get cancel and oh minus also here oh minus also will get cancel okay net reaction i think you can write down h zn plus hgo okay oh oh is getting cancel and h2 h2 also getting cancel okay electron already cancel so mainly the reaction is conversion of zinc to the zinc oxide reduction of mercury to mercuric oxide okay and it provides a voltage of 1.35 volt okay it provides a voltage of what 
three five volt. Okay, and uh, uh, what is the electrolyte over here? KOH and zinc oxide. Okay, OH is provided by it only. Okay, OH negative is coming from the KOH only. Is it understood? This is about the mercury cell. Now we have finished with the primary cells where we can use it once only. Next coming to the secondary cell. Next coming to what? Secondary cell. Secondary cell is the most useful cell. Lead acid battery. Okay. What is the cell? It is lead acid battery. Okay. So battery, lead acid battery, which we find use in the inverters. Normally inverter, there are a lot of modifications made in that also, but the basic principle remains same. Okay. So first let us take about the anode. Okay. Anode are plates of plates of lead. Okay. Plates of lead. Then cathode. Cathode are lead plus PbO2, lead grid, they call it as lead, grid of lead, okay? And electrolyte, electrolyte is concentrated sulfuric acid, okay? Here, the main values you should remember, when it is fully charged, then the density, density plays a vital role here, okay? Density lies between 1.25 to 1.30. Okay. Once it discharges and reduces to the density, when it reduces to 1.20, then it requires charging. Okay. Recharging is required. Recharging is required. Okay. When density goes below, then it uh, density decreases. Okay. So again, I'm telling you. Lead acid battery, it is a secondary battery. Secondary cell means when you are using the battery, that time it is a electrochemical cell. But uh, when you stopped using and when you start giving it a charge, that time it is electrolytic cell. Okay, so it can act as electrolytic cell and it can act as electrochemical cell. When electricity is off, and we are taking the electricity from this. That time it is electrochemical cell. It will provide you electrical energy by utilizing its chemical. And this is all mentioned in that stage only. During discharge, what, it, what we call it as during discharge, okay? So during discharge, plates of lead and cathode will be lead grid associated with lead oxide, okay? See here, both are made up of the same only. Okay, but in the previous condition, what we used zinc is anode and mercury is cathode in the mercury cell. Whereas in the previous one, manganese and zinc, they both are of the different. Okay, so to simplify the system here, both anode and cathode are made up of the lead only. But what is the difference? Oxidation state. At anode, oxidation state of lead is zero. At cathode, oxidation state of the lead is plus four. Okay, so change in oxidation takes place. Understood? And one more advantage is we can find out the whether how many hours we can use, whether it is charged or discharged. Okay, nowadays everything is digitally displayed, but previously what they used to know with the density only. Okay, so once we are starting the reaction, the content of the electrolyte will be highly concentrated. So highly concentrated molarity, I think in the liquid solution, you do, you know the relation, okay? So in the liquid solution, density comes into the numerator, okay? Molarity is equal to mass percentage into density divided by molecular mass. This is the shortcut formula, okay? Weight mass percentage into density into 10 divided by molecular mass, okay? So in the starting, most of the sulfuric acid is available. So density will be more. That means concentration is more. Okay. But we are using that we will come to know during the reactions. So when it is discharged, sulfuric acid quantity decreases. So sulfuric acid quantity decreases, concentration decreases. Then it uh, density also decreases. 
so earlier they used to calculate the density every now and then okay with the density only they will be calculating with the density only they will be calculating how much uh, time it can be used okay so this is about the lead storage battery and anode and cathode i think now you will be able to write the reactions okay what is the reaction pb pb is available and it should undergo what oxidation okay so for oxidation electrolyte will provide its sulfate ion then it will undergo pbso4 see during charging sulfuric acid is consumed okay sorry during discharging okay during discharging to provide this electricity sulfuric acid is used that's why its density will be decreased and the oxidation number is changing from 0 to plus 2 same way at cathode at cathode what happens reduction okay so what i told you reaction will be of pbo2 again here so4 2 minus okay again it is going to give you same product pb so4 only okay but here reduction from plus 4 to plus 2 see both products are same reaction at anode and reaction at cathode but reaching destination is same but starting place is different here starting from the 0 to increased to plus 2 here plus 4 to plus 2 decreased to plus 2 is it understood so because of this uh, sulfuric acid density will be decreasing sulfuric acid density will be decreasing this electrons will be gained by it okay so this two electron two electron plus four will give you plus two okay i think now you can net reaction you can write it is it understood and when it is completely charged and used initially it will almost provide 2.014 okay sorry 2.041 or you can simply say as a 2 volt okay so this is about the lead acid battery and during discharge what you will do you will write the question you have to read it carefully during charging this reaction during discharging sorry i am very sorry so during discharge this reaction when you charge the electrical energy will provide this electron electrical energy commercial supply will provide this electron that will be accepted by lead sulfate and it forms the lead and the electrical supply will remove electron from here and will convert it to pb plus 2 okay so like that both reaction will be opposite okay whatever the reaction taking place during charging will be exactly opposite to discharging okay next commercial cell is nickel cadmium battery what battery nickel cadmium battery okay so as every time what we need to study react anode cathode okay so anode and here over is cadmium okay cathode here is nickel okay and here cadmium undergoes directly i'm writing reaction okay cadmium react with four mole two moles of oh to form cd oh hole twice plus two electron okay this is anode see here reaction before it is and after it is plus 2 okay so it is oxidation that means it is acting as a anode and nickel will act as a cathode so for cathode it should undergo reduction okay so what is the reduction nioh hole thrice plus one electron one electron then it will form as a nioh hole twice plus oh minus so as i told you in the starting we have to multiply the this reaction with the two then we should add then you will get the net reaction okay so this is about the uh, nickel cadmium battery and it will provide you 1.2 volt how much it is going to provide you 1.2 volt okay and the advantages of it are long life okay they it will be advantage is their long life okay but expenditure expenditure highly expenditure okay and density continuously remain same that is the advantage long life density constant but disadvantage is expenditure like mercury cell advantage is low current devices compact in size 
and here it is just opposite a uh, long life density constant but uh, expenditure is more okay so anode and cathode nickel cadmium cell i think it is understood now we are left with the fuel cell okay so in the fuel cell as i told you h2o2 cell okay so there will be two electrodes the given co container converted into this type of explanation requires some diagrammatic that's why i am drawing it here okay suppose here h2 is there here o2 is there and here some koh is there okay here some koh is there <coughs> okay here some koh is there then let us take if h2 will go from here to here as h plus that means oxidation is taking place so it will provide electron that means it is a anode what it is anode okay and oxygen will converted into negative form oxygen will be converted into negative form so here it will be reduction this oxygen will undergo reduction and hydrogen will undergo oxidation okay so oxidation will be anode and this rod both are made up of the graphite only both are made up of the graphite only but here this graphite rod will act as a cathode will act as what cathode understood it is loss of electron and here it is gain of electron okay so by gaining of electron oxygen from zero to negative charge by loss of electron from zero to plus charge okay so that is the reaction at anode and cathode but advantages are here is you should continuously pump in hydrogen here pump in oxygen here then you will keep on getting the electricity okay and here the result is what result h2 and o so what you will get h2 o you will get what you will get h2 o you will get which is uh, environmental friendly okay so that's why it finds use in space missions like apollo space mission it finds use okay and disadvantages are the reaction is very slow so generally we will use platinum what we will use platinum to increase the rate of reaction okay so which are more and more expensive so in our daily life we cannot imagine a platinum for electrode okay so we cannot even imagine a platinum ring so we cannot afford a platinum for electrode that's why in our daily life is scientifically it is space mission only it is okay okay but once platinum is becomes very uh, less cost then we can imagine it to use in our daily life is it understood so that is all about the commercial cells okay